Hello, lovely friends. Welcome back to my channel. First, I have to apologize. Yes, this is meant to be a semicircle, but being that I'm drawing it with free hand, just assume this is a semicircle. All right, this is a semicircle, and this is a quadrant that is one fourth of a circle. Now, the question says that we should find the area of the shaded portion. All right, if this is a semicircle. This is also a semicircle. This is the center of the first semicircle. This is the center of the second semicircle. Now, first, we need to organize the whole thing first. That is, we need to think how do we get the value first. Now, let the area of the quadrant, that is the area of this quarter of the circle, be equal to a cube. All right. So the area of the quarter of the circle. Sorry. The area, everything that we are asked to solve, this shaded portion, area of the shaded portion, let it be equal to A, is equal to, it's going to be equal to, if we get the area of this quadrant, the whole of this quadrant, okay, let's call it area of, with subscript Q. Q. Now, AQ minus, it's going to be minus the sum of area of these two semicircles okay so we have one big semicircle and a smaller one so let's call the big one a b area of the big one plus area of the small semicircle so it means that the area of the shaded portion that we are looking for is equal to area of the quadrant okay the whole of this minus minus times this is area of the big semicircle minus times this is also minus area of the smaller semicircle now at least we have an idea of what we are about to do all right now the next thing is what is the area how do we find the area remember that this is quarter of a circle okay now the area of the quarter of a circle that is a cube is what we are looking for now should be equal to pi r squared divided by four Okay, since this is the quarter of a circle, it should be pi r squared divided by 4. Now, according to this drawing, the radius of this quarter circle, okay, the radius is 12 meters, okay, the radius is 12. So, it means that the area is equal to pi times 12 squared divided by 4. So, the area of the quarter circle is pi times 144 divided by 4. Okay? So, I'll write this somewhere. Let me write it somewhere. That area is equal to AQ minus AB minus AS. Okay? All right. Now, we have that AQ is equal to pi. When 4 divides this, we have 3, 3 remainder. 2 divides 24, we have 6. So, it's going to be pi 36 or 36 pi so the area of the quadrant is 36 pi square meters so we keep this aside now let's solve the area of the big semicircle now because this is a semicircle the area of the big semicircle will be equal to pi r squared divided by 2. This is a semicircle. That is half of a circle. Now, we have the area of the big semicircle is pi times. Now, what is the radius? The radius is half of this. That is from here to here. That is the radius. That is half of 12, which will give us 6. So, we have 6 squared divided by 2. So, the area of the big circle, big semicircle, is equal to pi times 36 divided by 2. So the AB will be equal to, this will give us 18. So 18 pi square meters. Now, very easy, right? Yes. We are asked to find also, we need to find the area of this as well. And this is where the problem is because we don't know the radius of this. So how do we go about it? Excuse me. So I'll now write out the area of the quarter circle gave us, um, where is it? Area of the quarter circle is 36 pi, right? 36 pi. Then area of the big semicircle gave us 18 pi, 18 pi. Now we are looking for the area of the smaller circle. Now let us explain that. All right. Okay. Now let us draw these two things out. Let's draw it out first. So we have 
this and we have a bigger one joining each other let's just say this is how they are but this is not how they are i'm trying to get it okay so we have something like this they are joining each other at just a point okay at just one point oh let's manage it like this okay and this is what the center of this and this is the center of this now when two circles touch each other at just a point when they touch each other at a point that means that remember that there is a straight line that passes through this place if you draw a straight line this is a tangent so the radius of each of them will form 90 degrees with this tangent and when that happens you notice that they will form a straight line together okay so we are going to have this straight line joining this place to this place so we can draw it out this way okay even though it's not a straight line but you understand what i'm trying to say now remember that this is 90 degrees okay and from here to here is the radius of the small um, the small semicircle now let's call it r okay that is the radius of the small semicircle let me come here now if this place from here to here is the radius of the smaller circle right then from here to here is also the radius of the smaller circle r now remember that from here to here is the radius of the bigger semicircle which is six all right now from here to here is the radius of the big circle which is 12 so if from here to here is 12 then this portion will be 12 minus this r right so we have 12 minus r now permit me to draw out this particular triangle that we just formed how is it right so we have something like this all right so here is 12 minus r okay here will be r plus 6 r plus 6 this is our hypotenuse and here will be half of this which is six okay now um using the pythagorean theorem the pythagorean theorem says that if you have a right angle triangle all right the hypotenuse which is the side facing the the hypotenuse okay this hypotenuse the side facing the right angle if you square it is going to be equal to the sum of this side squared plus this side squared okay so that means that r plus six squared so we have r plus 6 squared which happens to be our part our hypotenuse sorry is equal to this will be 12 minus r 12 minus r squared plus 6 squared okay yeah now we have formed our equation let's just expand let's come closer okay so we have r plus 6 squared is equal to 12 minus r squared plus six squared okay now when you have a plus b all squared this is equal to a squared plus two a b plus b squared okay so that means that we can solve this or we can write this as r squared plus two multiplied by six multiplied by r plus six squared is equal to 12 squared plus this will be minus because this time we have minus minus 2 multiplied by 12 multiplied by r plus r squared okay then plus 6 squared now we have r squared plus 12 r plus 36 is equal to 144 minus 24 r plus r squared plus 36 now from what we have here we have r squared let's bring everything together okay let's shift everything to this side and equate it to be equal to zero so if we have to do that it's going to be zero is equal to let's write this first 144 minus 24 r plus r squared plus 36 now this will turn to become minus r squared this will cross to become minus 12 r and this will cross to become minus 36 okay so we have zero is equal to let's collect like terms so we have 144 plus 36 okay now oh this plus we cross become minus 36 all right yeah so plus 36 we cross what am i saying this still plus 36 sorry okay 
Now we have 36 minus 36 is 0. Yeah, that is what I want. I wanted to cancel out things. So 36 minus 36 is 0. And um, what else do we have? Then plus r squared minus r squared is 0. What else do we have? So we have 144. Minus 24r minus 12r will give us minus 36r. Ah, oh, data. We have cancelled out almost everything. Now this is where we are. We can now cross this to come to this side. And this becomes positive, right? So we have 36R is equal to 144. Now, it is very easy at this point, right? Yes. Because we have to get that to get R, we divide this side by 36 and this side by 36. Now 36 we divide itself and we have R is equal to this. We divide this to give us 4. Now this is the value of R. Okay, remember that this smaller circle, the area of this smaller semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2, right? Which is equal to pi our r is 4 squared divided by 2. Okay, which is equal to pi 16 divided by 2, which is equal to pi 8. Okay, so 8 pi square meters. That is it for A, S, S, A, S. Now, let's find the area that we are asked to find. So, remember that the area is equal to AQ minus AB minus AS. So, the area will be AQ is 36 pi, right? 36 pi. AB is 18 pi, AS is 8 pi, okay? Now, let us factorize pi out. We have the area is pi, 36 pi divided by pi is 36, 18 pi divided by pi is 18, 8 pi divided by pi is 8. So our area then is equal to pi, 36 minus 18 will give us 18, 18 minus 8 will give us 10, okay? Now remember that pi is approximately equal to, is approximately 3.142. So it simply means that the area that we are looking for is 3.142 multiplied by 10, okay? So the area is going to be approximately 31.42 square meters. Hmm, amazing. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.